This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we're bringing the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi. Hi. Hey, guys. How mm. you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's my new star. Okay. What does it, what's it, what's it supposed Wait, to mean? Focus on my beautiful face. Oh, uh, yes. Tell them, sis. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nollywood actress Victoria Nyama has countered the claims by her colleague, Anita Joseph, over the non-existence of rape in marriages. Anita Joseph had posted a video on her Instagram where she argued that a woman cannot claim her husband raped her if he had sex with her when she wasn't in the mood. Basically, she said that... Um, she's his property so she shared a part of the video uh, we shared a part of the video with you and now just take a look at victoria nyama's response hi uh, i've been getting so many dms regarding what my darling anita joseph said um, concerning marriage rape and all that can a husband rape yes a husband can rape um but of course uh, you know it depends it depends but um let me define it, right? So, marital rape or spousal rape is the act of sexual intercourse with one's spouse without the spouse's consent. The lack of consent is essential here, right? Because it does not need to involve physical violence, right? Marital rape is a form of domestic violence and sexual abuse because yes they are married yes you know unfortunately i think the problem here is um what the bible says uh re religion culture tradition and stuff because i've read something in um corinthians i don't know if it's first or corinthians 7 3 i think it's first corinthians 7 3 or uh, something where the bible says the uh, you must not deny your husband your body neither should the husband deny the wife of the body fine now in tradition once the man has paid your bride price you belong to him he owns you so he can do anything to you including kill you really okay so society again means oh you have to accept it at least <laughs> you should be lucky that he's touching you hmm? that's not what marriage is please let's let's stop you know let, let's stop Truth is, the fact that your marriage is great, nice, and everything is good, and you have, you, 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 <laughs> you can speak in your marriage. A lot of people cannot talk in their marriage. A lot of people cannot decide anything in their marriage, and they are still in the marriage due to circumstances beyond their control. It is wise to be, you know, and I know that she tried to put a little bit of icing on the cake and, you know, butter and stuff. But fact is, husband can rape wife. I don't know about wife raping the husband. Maybe when he's sleeping and you climb on or something like that. I don't know. But the most important thing is consent is needed. A lot of women are going through, they are constantly raped in their marriages. Constantly. They are so ashamed to even talk about it. You know, it, it, it's different because I see it differently because I have experienced it and now I'm learning about it. The trauma and the damage it causes is beyond your understanding. So just pray that you don't experience it so that you would not understand it the way people that are victims understand it. Okay? I love the way she addressed this. Mm -hmm. First, um, I like how she defined what um, marital rape, rape is, is. Yeah. tries to break it down for Anita Joseph to understand. And I also have to give kudos to the older celebrities we have. People like her, Ibn Abo, Fibaresima. Like that. when they are interested in talking about something, they don't dance around it. They will call your name and tell you, you are the one I am talking about. Ibn Abo did the same thing when everybody was dragging. Um, uh, what's the name of this lady who married the rich man? That's Regina, Regina Daniels. Daniels. You know, when I can't remember who was trying to bring her down now, and she called the person out directly. And it doesn't mean that they are not friends, but they are able to tell each other the truth in public yeah. and still maintain their friendship. So that is what I have not seen in our new. No, we sub. Millennial or, sub. We sub. They won't even talk. They will keep quiet and start forming mm -hmm. gang oh, of yes. celebrity. You people are the poor ones that come mm -hmm. in at us. And I don't 
understand how much do you people have in the first place i don't get it anyway but that's by the way on this story i like the way she addressed it and the last part where she said mm. i pray you don't yeah, experience it so that you won't understand it. it however i don't think you need to experience this for you to understand it because i think it's commonsensical yeah. you know so let me just i think uh, i really liked the ending i think for me how i saw that was um, as a direct response to Anita, that it's easy for her to speak like that because she doesn't have such a problem in her relationship. Yeah. Obviously, every time they have sex, it's been consensual, and that's why she cannot even fathom the idea. And maybe they both have large appetites and they both satisfy each other. She she thinks that that's a normal thing, and uh, you know why would you now not want to um, give? your man you know pleasure or whatever so i think i understand where she was coming from in regards to that and i, I that for me the idea behind it, the logic behind it is why i've seen it with a lot of conversations where people don't do any effort in trying to remove themselves from their comfortable situation their comfortable yeah. power their comfortable privilege yeah. to look at a situation mm. from the perspective of a the oppressor or the victim um the oppressed rather or the victim and i think that happens a lot in a lot of conversations that we've had on this table mm. with rape with police brutality with racism mm. with this and this and Bad that and yeah and I, 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 more, if, I don't know if it's only me that's having this but i'm having a lot of conversations with people white friends about racism boys about rape you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and there's a tone that that is just, it's seriously you're just tone deaf yeah. to other people's problems and yes i agree that you don't always have to necessarily like be in a situation to understand. Sometimes I think that people just get too comfortable that they can't fathom because they don't understand. Mm. Yeah. So for me, my perspective on this is, first of all, when I watched the Anita Joseph um, video, I was very disappointed because number one, even if you've not experienced something, there's a place of research. Hmm. I've not experienced what it means to be a trans person, but I read about it. Yeah. I do my research. So I was very disappointed because she has a huge platform. She has a huge following. She has a, and we're talking about rape currently. A lot of people hmm. are protesting about rape. So it is very, very disconcerting that she would use a platform in that manner. You don't have to experience marital rape for you to know that it exists. Hmm. Consent is... The question here mm. is there consent whether you are married marriage is not consent too <laughs> because i feel like i think we're in a society where a lot of people already believe this so why are you reinforcing that kind of belief? because she's part, she's of, part the of the society, society she's part that of society she, she, has a, you know, she actually represents a huge a yeah. huge part of the society so we can't take that away she she's representing a lot of people because if you look through her comment session people like you felt married yesterday of people were in support they were like go girl tell amazed. them the way it is if they don't want to marry they should leave the and house and blah so blah amazed. blah and I'm like, you know okay. something also she yes. mentioned in the video that also stood out for me when she was like um, she said something about that. How can you say your husband raped you? That what were you doing, doing there? there. Mm -hmm. And I think that that for me shows that she also is one of those people who think about the That's blame game with victim. Blaming. Yeah, where so if it wasn't my husband and I was there, does that mean that it was then okay? There's so many things on like wrong with that, but I have to mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. with you, Elsie, that I don't think she was using her platform to like preach false so try she was using a platform to preach something that she just genuinely, she genuinely believed, believed in. No, there is no level of research that would have changed that because hmm. i mean I, I would want to say that i don't think there was any friend that came to anita joseph to speak about anything it's just the preamble <laughs> to talk because she always loves to be in the news so that was the first one she knew rape um is a trending conversation right now so yeah. and that was why she did that video and told you about the friend that came to her to talk about you know so she knew what she was doing she's Speaking from my own understanding and her own belief, and um, I, as sad as it is, there are so many people who are behind her on this yeah. one, and which is why when we had that conversation yesterday, we said we just need to get to that point where we sensitize people and make them understand that they are humans, they, they've got consent, they have the right yeah. to consent and all that. So yeah. I just hope that, um, like Abele said yesterday, um, she said it's a whole generation that, <laughs> that needs to, to go. <laughs> go before we can make, make progress in yeah. this. But Victoria and Yama belongs to that kind of generation, if you want to talk of about course, people of that generation. But she's somebody who, is, who has progressive views. Yeah. So I feel like people from and that generation can't that unlearn to our this. our generation, because Anita mm. is, how, she's I don't think a she's young very girl old. now. No, I don't, I don't think we need to actually wait for the generation. 
education to pass by. I think people need to, to start, start teaching one person. Yourself and learning a lot of harmful things. Yeah. To be honest, one person at a time. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting for her to make another video I to hope say so. that she has now understood. Yeah. Say probably she has speak, spoken to somebody like Victoria and spoken to other people in the industry and they've nah, been able to. I educate. don't see that happening. Yeah, yeah. I think what's going to happen <laughs> is that she'll she use the tone of saying that that's not what I meant. You miss. Mm -hmm. They always no, do that. I think that's Anita Joseph. I, this is the first time she's doing something that is really eking me this bad because she's a very open person. She's right. she doesn't pretend. She says it the way it is. And it's just unfortunate that this is her mindset on this particular Topic, issue. Yeah. So if she gets people around her that can explain things to her and make her understand, I believe she's that genuine to come out okay. to say, now I, I have on land. So I, 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 I don't know. know. Yeah. I used to follow her because I followed her from this one. But yeah, <laughs> I think I think she's that progressive. Right. And if she can understand be it, awesome. yeah. it will be awesome as well because yeah. a lot of people will begin to see things yeah. differently. So yeah. let's hope that we get a win on that one. Oh, I, I hope. Yeah, cross my fingers <laughs> on that. Okay, um, we have a guest, but let's quickly touch on this before the guest. Preg pregnant singer um, Miss Amber found dead in Calabar. She was found dead in the house she shared with her foreign lover in Calabar. Cross River States, and the circumstances surrounding her death have prompted her friends to call for a thorough investigation. According to reports, the singer had been in a relationship with Jim Roach for about 10 years before her death. Um, the lifeless body of the lady, who is said to be five months pregnant, was found hanging in the apartment. It was gathered that Roach reported the death to the police and claimed she committed suicide after they had an argument on Friday. However, her friends have rejected the claim and are now calling for an investigation. They claim the duo had been having issues in their relationship and it usually turned violent. Also, according to one of her friends, before she, she was found out to be pregnant, she had already decided to quit the relationship and asked her fiancé to pay her off with 5 million naira, but he allegedly agreed to pay 2.2 million naira. I was yet to fulfill the promise before her death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these details are so sketchy. Let it first start, because I don't know why she was laughing. Is it the five million? It's, it's the very, million? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand the idea of being paid off to break up. That's very interesting. I feel, I feel like maybe she was trying to demand, because it was when she discovered she was five months pregnant that she demanded right. the money. So I feel it's like a child support mm. okay. money. That's how I feel. Well, 2.5 is very mean. little. Like, isn't that like a lifelong thing where the manager is going to be involved yeah. and you need legal aspects for that? Maybe this one is for the first trimester. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, it's really interesting, um, that conversation and how they're going to investigate because in Calabar, mm. I don't know who's going, who I can say, oh, it's going to do a, a very good job with that. I've had... You have to start with autopsy first. Mm. That's, that's exactly why I'm worried because I've had um, a close friend have an issue in, with legal, with with that type of situation and they don't have the resources for that in Calabar. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that the story does not die down and I'm hoping that or if it does that the friends are wrong and she just genuinely killed herself while she was pregnant. Well, I doubt I don't believe did. that. Yeah. I, I doubt So it, I, I hope that justice is, is found and that they actually gather the resources that they don't have and try mm -hmm. and figure out what is going on. If she wasn't pregnant, maybe I would have found it to be easy yeah. to believe. But she was five months pregnant and according to her friends, she wasn't showing any signs that she was, you know, going to commit suicide. I'm not going to take that as a reason. reason because exactly. there yeah. are too many people that have committed suicide and but, their friends yeah. are like, but we were playing together. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But, but for some people, they also say that there are some signs. No, okay, so are you saying pregnant people don't commit suicide? Is, I'm saying that, that looking that at fact? the peculiarity of no. this situation, the fact that they had an argument and then immediately after she mysteriously committed suicide, I don't know, it doesn't really sit well with me. If you watch all these like it investigative, is sketchy, but it's it when you is watch though. all these investigative documentaries, whenever something like this happens, at the end of the day, they realize that I'm not saying that yeah, the spouse is mm. the one. Well, yes, really but the some spouse. of these, some of these documentaries are actually based on true yeah. life stories. Yeah. It might it's be trying usually, to avoid paying the money the or whatever mm -hmm. could have happened. Maybe they had an eaten argument and he killed her and then he tried to frame, frame it up as a suicide. So for me, I'm just a little bit skeptical. Isn't it crazy how like story. marrying could make it really possible for you to, to be murdered by your, by your spouse? And I mean, they say black men, I mean, Nigerian men are uh, the worst. This is it. Nigerian. Well, this one is even a foreigner, so like, it's, what? it's a foreigner. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very scared that he's not going to, like, he's not going to get any, like, if he is Let's guilty, just hope just I have a feeling he'll get away with it. served mm. at the end of the day. Okay. Well, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, we'll have our guest in the studio.